Greetings everybody. Today we're going to take a look at the CD4543. This is a BCD to 7 segment latch decoder driver. You can also use for liquid crystal displays. We won't delve into that. So first thing to notice is the BCD inputs here and the notice that they're not really in order. They're a little bit higgledy-piggledy. And there's a latch disable pin here. So when this is activated, whatever was the last data on these BCD input pins is locked onto the display. There's a phase pin and what this is about, and this is what makes this chip useful, is that when this is a zero, it can be used with a common cathode type display, and when it's a one, it can be used with a common anode type display. And there aren't that many of these ICs that you can use with a common ana anode type. So if you happen to have some of those lying around and you want a good chip for it, this would be the one. There's also a blanking pin, which completely blanks the display when it's activated. And I should note also that um, if you put an illegal entry onto these pins, so let's say, for example, you activated the 8 and the 4 for 12, then it would blank the display also because this is only good from 0 to 9. Okay, so that's uh, the overview of the spec and the chip pinout. Let's uh, move on. Uh, oh, one last thing to mention is the uh, seven segment outputs. So uh, we have A through F, which go to the seven segment display. <laughs> Let's take a quick look at the circuit diagram. So you can see here that we have a couple of diff switches connected to VCC. And then on the other side we have every pin pulled down with a 10K resistor. So this means that we can set every pin to either a 1 or a 0. We have our data pins. Uh, they're a little bit higgledy-piggledy, but uh, 1, 2, 4, and 8. So this uh, will handle a count from 0 to 9 on the display. If you put in something uh, bigger than 9, then the display is just blank. And uh, the next pin that we want to talk about is the latch pin. So when this pin is high, the latch feature is off and the display will just change as we change the data in. And if we pull this pin low, then uh, it freezes the display. So whatever was last on these pins is locked onto the display. The phase pin is used to switch between a type of common anode or common cathode seven segment display. In our case, we're going to use a common anode, so we're going to pull this phase pin high or one. Then the last thing is the blanking pin. And this pin is usually off, uh, and when it's off, it's a low. And if we pull it high, it blanks the display. On another quick note, here's the pinout of the display, the seven segment display. So if you put the display down on the table in front of you with the, the right way around, then the bottom left pin will be pin one and it counts up this way anti-clockwise. And the um, different, it's a little bit higgledy-piggledy again, but the different uh, segments are shown here with the pin numbers. And this is pretty standard. Uh, most displays would follow this format. Of course, there'll be some that don't, but most would be like this. And notice that pins 3 and pin 8 are the V plus or VCC plus because this is going to be a common anode type display that we're going to use for this project. Here's the demonstration of the circuit. First of all, I'm going to feed a 1 into the data pins. So we'll turn it on here and you see we have a 1 on the display. 
and I'll feed in a 2 and we should have a 3 on the display and we do. And I'll feed in a 4 and we'll have a 7. And we do. There it is. Now I'm going to enable the latch. And you'll see that as I change the data pins, nothing happens. So right now I'm feeding a data zero in, but it's retaining the seven from before I switch the latch. I'll switch the latch back up and we'll go to zero. And now I will, I will activate the blanking pin. You see the display, sorry, that's the um, phase pin. I'll activate the blanking pin and the display will go blank. I'll turn that off and I'll feed in a one and a four and we'll have a five. Now if I feed in an illegal number, so now I'm going to I'm going to feed in a data on the eight pin, it's too much. We're going to have five plus eight which is more than nine. It's an illegal entry, so you'll see that the display blanks. And there it is, it's blank. Okay, that's it for the demo. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.